Our first match of the day is Commander Cupcake against Dipster. Dipster is a spring-powered flipper that uses a electric motor to wind up a spring and along with some creative mixing on its radio and some limit switches, he's able to actuate the flipper. Now unfortunately in this match, uh, the creator had put in a spring that's a little bit too tight and he was unable to actuate his flipper. So this became a battle of the drivetrains. Commander Cupcake's drivetrain is two GA25 motors, a 3-cell LiPo battery, and Bainbot's 1 and 7 8 green wheels. This provides a reasonable amount of traction, and as you can see, uh, although we're pretty evenly matched in pushing power, I have a slight advantage, and I push him into the wall repeatedly. Now, uh, once the pit opens, I start trying to maneuver him towards the pit, which I think we both had the same idea at this point put the other person in the pit and end this. So uh, we kind of dance around and do a couple circles here and there. And because I'm so wide, I can turn and pivot against him pretty easily. Um, I back up a couple times to try and reorient and uh, see if I can't put him in the pit. So what I'm trying to do is hit my have him hit me on the edge towards one wheel so that we can spin around in a circle um, like I'm doing right now here and then I'll back away and try and line him up on the pit which he turns out of but I still he backs up which gets us closer and then I get him really close and surprisingly Commander Cupcake wins its first match much to the delight of the crowd our second match with Commander Cupcake is against a robot called Stretcher. Um, this robot has a pretty cool design. It's a four-wheel drive wedge robot with a uh, kind of danger zone type, you know, red and white uh, striping on it. Uh, unfortunately for us, his shape is perfectly suited to get underneath of our robot. So he pushes us around right from the get-go. Uh, our strategy is to get away from him and go towards the pit as much as possible in hopes that he will drive himself into the pit. And he does a pretty good job at jamming us into the corners. Um, get away from him, he uh, lines up on us, almost gets us in the pit, pushes us across the arena floor again. Um, I get away from him again, drive right back to the pit, start egging him on. He doesn't really care, so he comes in, chases me around, and I make a critical error here, and I get one of my wheels caught over the edge of the pit. He immediately takes advantage, and in I go. Our third match is up against the same guy in a different robot. Um, I believe the robot's name was Zuper or Shooper or something like that. It's got an umlaut in it. Uh, really difficult name to pronounce. But uh, since he's a spinner, our hope is that he gets caught in our cardboard so that I can push him in the pit. And lucky for us, it happens almost immediately. Unlucky for us, his wheel touches against our wheel when I push forward, so I'm unable to control him effectively. Uh, so it turns into uh, a battle of pushing back and forth. Uh, he almost pits us, but then uh, manages. I manage to pull it away. I orient him on the pit, he turns out of it. Or I orient him again on the pit, and he turns out of it, but this time my wheel's hanging over the edge, and in I go. Um, this ends our run on the championship. So we were lucky enough to get a fourth and final match. Um, Commander Cupcake uh, won against Sky Shark in a grudge match. So Sky Shark is two tank treads and two brushless motors, and it's really fast and kind of unstable and a really interesting design. It started out as an RC car and it's kind of been the, the running fun bot at uh, Cirque, so I think that's why they called this out because I kind of, you know, stole the crowd's hearts with uh, my little pinata bot. Uh, so we push each other around back and forth. I think something happens to his drive. 
because he's not moving. And I'm trying to push him, but his tank treads have so much contact that I'm having trouble pushing him. And I think he's, yeah, he's baiting me here. Like, he's got one motor that works, and I almost buy it. But I pull around, I start pushing him again, back off, push him again. And, you know, I think at this point I, I pretty much got him. I just have to be really careful he doesn't turn out of it. But I think he's having dry problems, and uh, in he goes, and I uh, choose to follow him just for entertainment's sake. Uh, so that's the uh, end of my uh, cupcake match. Uh, it was really fun to build this robot. I loved the way that the crowd just went nuts whenever the robot was around. Even the builders, all their faces were smiles. So it's definitely coming back. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's going to be epic. So, that moves us on to our Beetleweight robot. So all of our matches with Death Wobble are pretty short and devastating. Um, this one's no exception. The uh, first match we have here is against a drum spinner. Um, they have a polycarbonate body. Um, luckily we were able to get spinning. We had some uh, brushless speed controller issues where the ramp isn't set very good. Uh, we flip him over, um, then take a hit there, uh, drive over, he's disabled, I'm trying, I try to push him towards the pit, uh, get a couple really good hits in to back him up, and then uh, I ended up getting hung up on a, on a locking nut, and so I was unable to move. Um, they counted out uh, Siege Engine, and I won the match. Uh, the second match, which is a match that I right from the get-go I was dreading um, is Icky Mouse versus uh, Death Wobble again so this is not really shown very well in the video unfortunately because of camera angles but it is short and brutal um, the first hit flips me over before I can even really get spun up and uh, he uh, pauses for a second but then I yell at him and tell him to hit me because I want to do durability testing so if he can break me I want him to break me if he can't break me, then, well, it's a reasonably solid design, and I can just make improvements. Um, he uh, clips a wheel off. I get flipped over. Um, I'm unable to get spun up. And he hits me again, and again, and in I go. Um, third match here, another short match, um, is uh, against Phantom 2. Uh, they choose not to spin up right away, which was very kind of them. And lucky for me, I actually get full throttle. Um, and right before we collide, uh, they decide to spin up. We get a really big hit. And uh, that hit, which is right, right here, uh, their collar gets damaged. I'm flipped upside down, disabled. They spin up, and their blade comes off. Almost uh, takes out my cameraman. And uh, they're bladeless, but I'm upside down, so... I'm trying to spin up, but there's no way because of the cogging, and in I go, and that ends uh, that ends my run with uh, Death Wobble. So, uh, Beetleweight Rumble was first this year because they wanted to give the Antweights uh, Championship uh, match people some time to uh, get ready, um, and it was sheer chaos. Uh, my friend Corey is driving Cupcake, and I'm driving Death Wobble. Uh, my wheel gets chunked in the first few seconds of the match, and I'm having trouble spinning up, and uh, also some radio problems. I ended up turning my radio on and off maybe three or four times during the match. Um, I don't know if it was because all the radios that were on at the time, but it just uh, it was really, really laggy. Um, Cupcakes running around pretty much being left alone, to much to my surprise. I thought that they would uh, murder it in a few seconds and... There'd be confetti and candy everywhere. Um, I managed to get it death wobble spinning up, and then it stops. Uh, and then Cupcakes, in the meantime, is getting a haircut. Um, and uh, finally, I think I get it spinning again here. Yep, there it goes. Um, so it finally gets spinning. And uh, I'm still, still having mobility problems, because I only have one wheel at this point. Um, and I pivot in towards this uh, ant weight here that's already disabled. And uh, the action uh, finally comes in towards me. 
and I get pushed into the ant weights, which turns them kind of into mulch. Um, and of all things, the one thing that I get high centered on, what is it? It's a DESC. So uh, that was kind of funny. Uh, Cupcake's running around and gets a haircut, uh, courtesy of uh, Anaxia, uh, which I believe took second place. Um, now it's getting pushed around and, and finally getting bullied, and uh, the battery gets exposed. Uh, so uh, Dan's sitting right there, and he, he's looking pretty concerned. Corey's trying to put it in the pit, um, and then they end up, they stop it for a second, and uh, it gets uh, pushed into the pit so that the battery can be taken care of. So, yep, there it goes. And I step away for a moment, and I take care of the battery with Dan. Um, the battery got hit, it was puffed up, but it did not catch on fire. Um, they put it in a sand bucket and everything was good. He had his oven mitts, so... Uh, I, after a few seconds here, um, I walk back up. In fact, you can kind of see me in the reflection there. Um, so, I try to spin up again. And... You can see the, the vibration from my wheels, because uh, I'm trying to drive. And I do manage to spin up, which is nice. Uh, I'm hoping that my blade's unbalanced enough to uh, break free, uh, which it almost is. I, I start to I start to work free a little bit, and I, I pivot into the uh, ant weight to the left of me there, um, which you don't quite see because it changes camera angles here. Yep. So there's a uh, a motor in the right hand side about two-thirds up right next to me and I'm gonna turn into it in a second here uh, which I was trying to turn into the wall so that uh, I can maybe bounce off the wall and get thrown into the middle K2 spins up here I come over and say goodbye to the motor there it goes and I start bouncing into the wall unfortunately there's nothing I can do I'm, I'm wedged in the corner um, and uh, the uh, two remaining beetle weights are battling it out. Um, the uh, vortex, the uh, shell spinner there, uh, can't spin up anymore for whatever reason. And they're just taking hit after hit. And then Anexia drives itself in the pit, leaving uh, vortex as the winner of the beetle weight rumble uh, with seconds to go. Uh, the uh, death wobble was actually completely, I mean, other than having the one. Uh, gearbox fragmented being uh, high centered it was completely unarmed um, the uh, onyx held up great so moving on to the ant weight crumble um, commander cupcake here is a little bit worse for wear uh, from the beetle weight rumble I had to replace the battery with a two cell lipo and my goal here for the ant weight rumble is to pretty much feed cupcake to uh, the uh, spinners. In fact, before the match started, I actually started in the middle and I called everyone out and said, come get some. The Beatles couldn't finish it. Let's see what you got. And uh, so I uh, immediately get hung up on Sky Shark and managed to work my way free. Um, and I encountered a problem, which is of my own doing, and I totally deserve it. Um, I did not charge my battery that I replaced prior to the match, or event for that matter, and it had a storage charge on it. So I ran into low voltage, and I turned off. So as all the chaos is ensuing around me, I am completely at the mercy of everyone else. Um, and I think I pretty much, nothing really happens to it. Um, I do eventually get pushed into the pit uh, a couple minutes in. Um, so um, at this point, um, that's about it for me. Um, I had a great time at CERT, as uh, always. Um, the CERT crew put together a great event. There was almost no delays. Um, everything was extremely well organized. I highly recommend you come check it out if you're in the area. Um, and if you're in the area, the, um, the club has monthly meetings, and they, um, they don't do a whole lot of combat robots, but they do a lot of other robotics type stuff. Um, they do a Magellan, uh, line follower, maze, sumo, stuff like that. 
Um, and they've always got interesting projects. Um, even if you're not in the area, you can check out their website. Um, it's uh, Cirque Peoria. Um, it, the link will be in the description for that as well. Uh, the uh, last person I'd like to take a moment to thank is Ricky. Um, he put together the uh, entire stream, and uh, a lot of the video you see here, all the ones with the timer, is taken by him. Um, he uh, had a whole bunch of monitors and microphones and cameras, and the whole setup was just great. Um, he uh, made the whole thing flow seamlessly, and uh, I'll definitely be using him when uh, it comes time for me and, uh, and bots to run an event of our own. Um, so um, it was a really great time. I really enjoyed uh, battling it out, even though I didn't, uh, you know, do that great. I, I had uh, one one win and two losses with uh, my three pounder, and two wins and two losses with my one pounder. Um, I Commander Cupcake is definitely coming back. Uh, I have some big plans for it. I'm not really sure 100% what I'm going to do. Um, as far as Death Wobble, um, I'll probably have a different name for it, but I'm going to have a, another vertical spinner. Um, I really liked uh, Eric's bot, uh, Ana Anaxia, something like that. I'm terrible with bot names. Um, it was really well put together, and in its battle with Icky Mouse, it, it just took so many hard hits and just kept going. Um, and, it, and he fought him multiple times, and it just... I was completely and utterly floored that it stayed together, um, and I'm really impressed with uh, the the output and the and the crowd and you know it, it's nice to see so many people just getting interested in, in uh, combat robots. So I'm really looking forward to next year. Um, I think Cirque's running an event uh, early next year that's going to be uh, it's going to have less combat, but it's going to be line followers and sumo and stuff like that, and I think that's going to be really fun. Uh, I'm planning on building a robot to compete in those classes, and uh, thanks for watching.